If I look tired, it's because I am. The other day on TikTok, I had posted again about a big chunky knit blanket that I had made and it was suggested to me by someone who follows me and comments frequently, which I absolutely love, that I should do a YouTube tutorial on how you make these blankets. So shout out to you, Troy, for this idea because I didn't even consider doing a YouTube video about this because I just sort of assumed everyone on TikTok saw the video where the guy explained how to make the, the blanket. I love making these blankets. There is so super easy thing to do inside over the winter, I suppose. The only problem is that yarn does actually get really expensive. So I have found that when you make these blankets, if you make the knit tighter, the blanket will be heavier and like more dense, but you will go through a lot more yarn and it does start to get expensive. So if you do a looser knit, you won't go through nearly as much. So just kind of a pro tip for you. So what you're gonna need is, I've never done a tutorial, so I don't really know how to do this. Okay, so a scissors, this is a child's scissors. I don't know where any of the big people's scissors are. So you can use any scissors or a knife if you want. I don't care. And then your yarn. So majority of my blanket is going to be this light dusty pink and then I'm gonna do some stripes with this color just to kind of show you how I do my color transitions which really aren't fantastic but my sister-in-law was a real one and showed me how she does color transitions to make the blanket look a little bit nicer. All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna start getting cranky. So we'll just jump into this. I'll show you guys how to start the blanket. Then we'll speed through the part of me making the actual blanket. Maybe I should tell you what I'm making. So I, yeah, okay. So I'm going to be making a 30 inch by 30 inch baby blanket. Oh, and you will also need a tape measure. Well, maybe you don't, but I do. So you'll need a tape measure to get the size down. The yarn does seem to stretch a bit but I can't figure out how much it's gonna stretch. So I'm, that's why I kinda wanna do a square because every single blanket that I've made, I've wanted to start with like it vertical, you know, like the stripes go horizontal on it and it goes down your body. But the width, the vertical part that I wanna be vertical is actually the length. So I'm really bad at guessing how long it needs to be. Sorry, my camera's really like bouncing around. Um, so, I, I don't know, good luck, you can eyeball it probably better than me, so don't listen to me on like when, how to measure it or what. I don't know, I'll probably make it four inches shorter than it needs to be and I'll explain that too once I get to that part. Uh, okay, I think that's everything that you're gonna need jumping into this. So yeah, I'll show you how to start it and then I'll you know speed through the part of me actually making it. Hopefully I can finish it up tonight and then, oh, Yes, I'm gonna challenge myself and see if I can do this in an hour. So I'm gonna time myself, but you guys won't necessarily know how long it takes. Whatever, you just have to trust me. Anyways, and then I'll show you how to finish the blanket. All right, well, let's just jump right in. All right, so when I start, what I do is I take my yarn, I make just a loop, loop it over, and then bring this part in, make, a slip knot. Um, maybe try not to have this much excess because that's just gonna get cut off in the end. I don't cut it off till the very end. Personal preference for you though. And then you take the long side, bring it through, creating another loop, and then you just keep grabbing and pulling it through. Now I want this to be a tighter knit because it's gonna be a baby blanket. So I'm gonna make my loops, you know, quite a bit smaller. So that way it's nice and tight and there's no loose uh, loose strands. Now it gets messy. I don't know how to do it nicely. I, I don't know. This is just, I mean, an extremely amateur tutorial. So if you know the way to make it look cleaner and nicer, by all means.
All right, I stopped about five inches short of my desired length just because I know from experience that she is going to stretch. Okay, so when you get to the end, you leave a loop and then, oh yeah, it's a good idea to have yarn already unrolled, unless you have one of those cool spinny things that unrolls your yarn while you work. I don't, because I'm an amateur and also not a grandma. Okay, so you just take it through, make a little slip knot, and then you go through and you find uh, like a little, you know, part of the knot, or I don't know if it's considered a knot or not, <laughs> a knot or not, and you just, Keep going through. Now, I know that if you want it to not twist, like mine so often do, you should try to be very consistent with which little, um, I don't know how to say it, loop you go through. So like there's this middle one here, where there's one, like, yeah, so there's the middle one here, or this one here. I don't, I'm really, bad at that too like knowing which loop I should actually go through so I just I don't know it's really a big guessing game for me now my first loops are always a little bit bigger but when I go through again I'm gonna make sure that I make them shorter so that way the knit is nice and tight see It'll almost always start to twist. But as you work and get farther on the blanket, that'll start to, well, sometimes unwind. Most times though, for me, it does not. So I shouldn't have said that, sorry, I'm a liar. Well, I definitely screwed up somewhere along the lines here. So we'll just try to make the best of it. It's kind of a goofy little knot in there, so I don't know. I don't feel like redoing it though. Fun fact, I think I've restarted almost 100% of the blankets that I've made just because I don't like the length because it's not what I wanted because I'm bad at determining length. All right, then once you reach the end, then you go back through and you loop through the end one twice. And there you go, now you're off and you can get started. Just You just keep doing the same thing over and over. And like I said, once you reach the ends, you go through that loop twice. Try to make sure that the ends are nice and tight because that tends to get very loose and it looks a lot better if you can make the edges a nice tight weave. All right, now with the rest of this, I'm just gonna speed up for you guys. And I'm gonna be watching Saved by the Bell while I do this, so I'll have to put music over it for sure. All right, I will see you guys when I'm done with the blanket.
am going to add in the dark pink. So you will need scissors. Okay, so when I get to the end, that's where I like to switch colors. Um, I only do one loop so that way I can start to integrate the other color. Cut it off, but be sure to leave just a little bit of the tail. And then, so I just started doing this. I don't know how great it works, but instead of tying a knot, I just take the two ends and I just kind of weave them together. And then I go through the loop. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work, but maybe it will actually. And then, yeah, I just put them through the loop. And, well, no, I think I actually am just gonna tie the ends together. I, I don't know a better way to connect everything, so we'll just, I just do two knots, just like you're tying your shoe. That's how I change colors. Uh, if anyone has a better way, please comment down below because mine is not fantastic and I know that because you end up with these goofy little pieces right there at the end of the blanket. But like I said, I don't know how to do it better, so.
When you get to your last row, you should make the loops uh, a lot bigger and more exaggerated because... So now what you're going to do is that you're going to take the very end loop and the second to last loop and you're going to bring the second to last loop up and through and then reach forward, grab the next loop and so on and so forth until you reach the very end of the blanket. When you get to the end, there is a little loop here. Honestly, I have yet to know what exactly to do with it. So I cut it and then bring it back through. And I just tie the two ends together. Like I was tying a shoelace or shoelaces, I should say twice if I possibly can. So it's good and tight. And there, that's our corner. And then I normally trim all this extra off. Oh, make sure it's really tight. Okay. And there we go with this end. And then on this end, we'll do like the exact same thing. And here is our finished product. So this is like, I don't know if you want to say the back or the front side, but this side has more detail. And then this side is nice and fuzzy. Well, I mean, both sides are, but like, you know, you can't see the distinct lines as easily. The only thing about it is that because I made it such a tight weave, it just kind of wants to like roll up on itself, which I guess is good for storage. And that is how I make the blankets that I continue to make. Um, so I have one other one up on Etsy right now, and this one will be up probably by tomorrow. I'm hoping I'm getting really tired, so I need to shower. But um, yeah, this one, since it's so, sorry, that was my dog. Since it's so dense and cushiony, I can honestly see this being used as something that you lay on the floor and you put a baby on because, you know, I mean, it's cushy and it's so soft and the knit is so tight that there really isn't a chance for strangling. Uh, there really isn't, no, like there is no chance. I was having a hard time getting like my fingers through the loops. Anyways, so yeah, I can see it being used more like as a pad for on the floor, you know, to set a baby on. And it's a perfect square because when you're holding a kid, it kind of sucks sometimes to try to find the long side of the blanket. So anyways, I'm really tired, so I'm going to shower and get this video uploaded for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was everything that you hoped and dreamed for. And I love you guys so very much. And uh, comment, I don't know, video ideas of stuff that you would like to see me do in my next video or whatever. Sound good? Sound good. Love you guys. Bye.